XOXO. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be my tattoo tour. Everybody has been suggesting for me to do this video for years. And the reason why I haven't been able to film it is because I have a lot of really bad stick and poke tattoos that I've done on myself. I have a lot of tattoos that I haven't completed or finished. So I just kept saying to myself, once I'm done completing it, I'll film a video, but then I just start on other tattoos and then I never end up getting to those tattoos that I haven't finished. I still haven't finished them. All my Instagram friends, thank you so much for leaving this video suggestion on my post because now here I am filming it. So I don't really know where to start, but I think I'm just gonna start off with my arm nice and easy. So the first thing on this arm are these dot tattoos. I have them on both my hands. They equal 12, which is my lucky number on each hand. I think they're really cute. Um, I got them when I was 17 in Taiwan. Um, I literally went into Tattoo Alley and found a place and was like, this is what I want. And they were like, okay, cool, we can do that. And it was probably like 30 dollars um these i actually tattooed on myself with my left hand i'm actually right-handed but i tattooed with stick and poke on my left hand um i want to do another empty circle here and a full circle here just a lot of work to do it because i do it with my left hand and i'm right-handed just something that i want to take my time doing and i don't mind that it looks like this so far. I did this in Karatha when I was staying with my mom. This centipede I got in Brisbane. I think it was the first tattoo I got in Brisbane. Yeah, I love the red segment details. This one I got done as a scar cover-up. I got it done in Bali and I also got it done at the same time as this tattoo. So this is kind of like a scar cover-up tattoo as well. Um, this is just mushrooms. Love magic mushrooms can't even see the scars anymore um i drew kind of like a sketch of what i wanted and then the artist drew this pretty much exactly how i wanted i'm pretty sure i drew my one with a closed mouth i don't really have themes although the colors that i want to use is mainly just black and red the reason why is that my skin isn't like super super white like it's not super super pale so colors like yellow and blue and other colors don't really come out exactly how I want. I feel like they're just a hit and miss and also with fading, like, I don't know, I'm just really scared to try a color. Um, but I feel like red is a safe color because with red, it doesn't matter what skin tone you have, everyone bleeds red, so it's just a color that everyone has. So that's it for this arm. Um, I'll show you guys my like front torso area. So this is not a tattoo. Everyone asked me, it's not a tattoo. Um, this is actually my old channel name, which is How Senseless Death, How Precious Life, which is a lyric from La Dispute, my favorite band. Um, the song is called King Park. Sorry for putting my titties right in the camera, but this tattoo I actually got for aesthetics. Um, I kind of wanted something like V-shaped up here so that it looks like I have cleavage. Um, like when I'm wearing a top, like if I'm wearing like a bandeau, looks like I have natural cleavage like from afar, like this. I don't know, I don't have my glasses on, so um, it blurs everything, so it kind of does look like cleavage, but just like imagine me from a distance, just, yeah. So I was thinking of shapes and butterfly knives. I was thinking of like scissors, butterfly knives. It is a butterfly knife, but I didn't want it to be too masculine, especially because it's in the front of my body. So I decided to um, have like a rose, some, something floral, just to make it more feminine. Um, the 14 is actually kind of new. I got this one done here in Brisbane and it's a matching tattoo with my mom. My mom is born on February 14. My brother's born on April 14. My other brother's born September 14. 14 is just like a lucky number for me. And so I just wanted to get it in the middle of me because my family is very close to me. Family is very important. So I got that. My mom got it on her arm. I got this one done in Perth by Jeff Tattoo. He's really cool. He's actually a friend of a friend and I really love his work and he did such an awesome job. The How Senseless Death, How Precious Life, I got done in Bali at Apache Tattoo. I think his name is Fion. Fion um, also did this one. What else did he do? Also, the top of my head, this is not a tattoo, I just drew it on. Um, I did it with eyeliner. I have 
oh damn i hope i don't know if you can see it but these tattoos are my least favorite tattoos which sucks because tukoi is a very amazing famous australian tattoo artist now and it sucks because these aren't cute <laughs> anymore and they're just not cute but she was an apprentice when she was doing this so like i can't blame her i just wish it, i had something of hers that i was more proud of full moon or crescent Oh my god, at least this is me editing this video is gonna be the first time seeing what they look like. I'm probably gonna get them just like blacked out. <laughs> um, and then the other moon. And then the full moon. Yeah. So the reason why I got full moon and the new moon is I just wanted to... This is when I first started getting tattoos. And I think when you first get tattoos, they have meaning. And then... Later on, you just get tattoos for plain aesthetics, just appreciating art. There's only so many tattoos on your body you can have that has meaning. I have like 24, 25 tattoos. There's no 24 people in my life or 25 memories. That A lot of tattoos are just aesthetics. Um, they just, like I'm an artist. My bedroom wall is covered in art. When I was a kid, I draw my shoes, drew on my walls. Um, I draw my books. Like I cover everything in art. I paint my face in art. Why wouldn't I put art on myself? Obviously, I'm an artist. Like, I appreciate art, so that's why I like having art on myself. <laughs> I just like looked. Hi guys. Wait, I'm gonna take off my glasses. I look so bad. Hello, everybody. I'm editing in the future here. But um, I totally went on a tangent and I forgot to explain why I got the crescent moon and the full moon tattooed on me. Um, the reason why is because. Um, it represents the phases of the moon. And I think all women, all people, we go through different phases. Um, especially, like, as women are so in touch with the moon because it's, like, our period cycles, lunar cycles, etc., etc. I don't have anything on my back. That is, like, a whole piece. We'll do this arm now. Yeah, these are the dots. Same dots. I got them at the same time. Um, these ones are my stick and pokes. Oh, Let's get to my stick and pokes. Okay, jump ahead. All right, let's go to my first stick and poke. This is my first stick and poke. Oh shit, my foot. Copyright 1997. Can you believe that is the first stick and poke I have ever done? Not that bad, right? I was born in 1997, which means I'm 24 years old today. I know I don't look it. But yeah, the second stick and poke I did were my toes. Fuck, how am I gonna show this? These toes, I haven't updated them in a while. And look, my foot looks like a flip-flop, but I wanna do like a henna print, like a lotus pattern kind of in here. Um, but the reason why I haven't done it yet, I started this in 2017, I know it's been like five years. The reason why I haven't finished it off yet is because I got to the back of my heel and it really hurts doing these pedals like it really really fucking hurts especially the top of the foot that's just the worst place to get tattooed i can take as many breaks as i want <laughs> i can chill out you relax you know um listen to music watch some stuff that's why i also have like a few dots on my toes on the left side it's not even worth showing to you guys because my toe nails look disgusting honestly the toenails on that foot looks disgusting as well Fuck, I didn't even consider like painting my toenails. I shaved, I moisturized. <laughs> I didn't even, like I painted my nails, Oh, Okay, the dots I did on my toes were done by a needle, like a sewing needle. So they didn't actually like stay on, really. They just kind of looked like freckles. Um, what other stick and pokes have I done? The ones I did after that, I think, maybe were my knees. So this one I did in black. This one I did in red, and I didn't end up liking the red, so I went over it in black. I w went over this the other day, me and my housemate were bored, and it was kind of like spotty, so I went over it again. I actually also went over this one again, which is Give. It was kind of getting spotty, so I went over it again, um, like a few days ago. Uh, that one, yeah, I did myself. What else? Did I do myself? I did this one, which is not nice. As you can tell, it's faded up here, but it is very close to my palm. So it just like hasn't been able to stay. Um, it's just like a wilting rose. This one took me a really long time to do, but it's not my best. Um, I did these as well, but they're on my knuckles. So obviously they don't 
last that long. They're just like little plus signs or X's, whatever. Depends how you see them. Um, this is XOXO, like kisses, <laughs> hugs and kisses. Um, some cute little dots. This says, oh, I also did these myself, did these myself. This one I did not do myself. It says handle with care. So when someone holds my hand, it's like handle with care. Isn't that cute? Um, that one's kind of new. I got that one done in Brisbane as well by this girl named Dana. She also did this one. This one is actually the first tattoo I've ever had. I got it when I was 15 going on 16, I think. My mom got it for me when I was visiting her in Sydney. Thank you very much, love it. Um, this one I got when I was on holiday to Melbourne. As you can tell by the theme, I love to get tattoos on holiday. It's just, it's like, you know, my parents used to get fridge magnets from places in, they visited or when their friends would visit places, my parents would ask them to get magnets for them. Uh, or my ex, his family would collect like snow globes. So if we went to Bali, we would get like snow globes that are like Bali themed. Tattoos are kind of like that for me. Very faded. I actually, this one's my least favorite one. I love the quote. I just don't like how much it's faded. Tell me if you have any ideas. What should I put on top of here? I was thinking like maybe like a long like samurai knife maybe because then it would like blend in what do you think a long samurai knife um what else could this be i'm not sure let me know what you think can be covered up in this space let me know please because i really really do want to get it fixed up if anyone comes up with a good idea you're gonna see it on me okay now this circle i got it done at the same time as this it's over in melbourne it's not actually a complete circle, it is an incomplete circle. Although over the years that it's faded, it's slowly becoming a complete circle, which is very, very poetic. I don't know if that's the right term, but isn't that really cute that when I got it, it's like an imperfect circle, like an incomplete circle. Basically saying like, oh, you know, it's okay to be imperfect. It's okay to be someone's perfect. But in real life, you don't feel perfect at all. For it to now slowly become a perfect circle is kind of cute because, nah. This one I got matching with my best friend, Sunny. It says Self Love Club. I got it right under my self-harm scar for that very reason. Um, it was done in Perth. This is my thigh one. Oh my god, I was not prepared for filming like this. I mentioned this in my last video. It is, it is just like pattern work I like. It's still peeling at the moment. And as you can tell, I actually have lines in the back of my legs. Ugh. So it's just lines on the back of my legs. Actually, it stops right here. Oh my God, please do not demonetize me. Yeah, so those lines in the back of my legs. Oh, I also have, maybe I'll just keep this down here. Oop. Okay, I'm also wearing safety shorts, but yes. This, obviously, I got for the sunflowers. I love sunflowers, they're my favorite flower. For those who don't know, when I started YouTube and I gained a following, I called them my flowers, my sunflowers, because sunflowers are just a cluster of flowers. Like, technically, a, a sunflower, each petal is its own flower, so that means a sunflower is a cluster of flowers. Um, and I think that's just really cool because we're all just our own petals and Technically, we're our own flower and we come together to form a big sunflower. We are just endless and timeless and ever growing and ever evolving. <laughs> wow, that's so <laughs> cheesy, but uh, this one I got in Gold Coast. It is a scorpion and the theme that I've been doing with the red and the black obviously still applies. But um, what I really do like that um, has to do with my art, not just my tattoos, is that I really, really, really like um, things that make me feel uncomfortable. So things that make me feel uncomfortable, such as like centipedes. I couldn't even look at centipedes before. Snakes, not, I'm not so bad with snakes, but snake skin, mm, like the shedding of skin makes my skin crawl that I'm still getting used to. Um, not that I need to get used to it, not that I have snakes around, but basically having it tattooed on me desensitizes me to it. I remember scorpions and centipedes and snakes, like just looking at them would make me 
so uncomfortable. I feel fine with them now. I love animals. I think things that stand out to me the most are things that I'm scared of, um, things that I'm like frightened of, and that's why I like having tattoos of things that I'm scared of. Um, also, I like things that are aesthetic as well, so, you know, I'm a bit different. So I think that's pretty much all my tattoos. The tattoos I get asked about the most are the lines on the back of my legs and the circle. Sometimes the circle is people being like, oh, I like your circle, or they say, ah, oh, that's so annoying that the artist messed up and I'll always correct them and be like, oh no, the artist didn't mess up. Like my intention was to get an incomplete circle. And they're like, oh, it makes me so angry. Why would you get that? And I always say, if I do have time to explain, because sometimes it is annoying to explain, I always just say, like when you go to an art museum and you're there with some friends, and let's say none of them say anything about any of the artwork. Um, and they come across this one empty white canvas with like a, a dash on it. And they're like, oh my God, why is this? canvas here like why is this artwork here my brother could paint that he's three years old he could get a paintbrush and just paint a dash over a canvas that is the most important piece of artwork to that person um sorry if you hear my guinea pigs in the background they're my mom's guinea pigs i'm taking care of them because you didn't say anything about any piece of art here except for that one even if it was hatred even if it was anger even if it was like why the fuck is that here because that artwork is the one that you opened your mouth for, you know? So that's the most important piece of art. That's the one that you are probably gonna remember and take home, which means that is good art, that is art. And that's why I like my incomplete circle. It's one of my favorite ones because even though it gets people angry and, and they're like, oh my God, my OCD. Like they, I hear that all the time. It starts a conversation, it gets people talking to me, it gets people talking to me about art and then I mention things like even conversations, I'll, I'll be like, yeah, it's like that time you go to an art museum and you see that one piece of art that makes you angry because your, your kid could do it and it's here in an art museum, but in reality, your anger and your feelings toward it makes it the most important piece of art in the building. So to me, that's what makes the circle tattoo or incomplete circle tattoo, one of my favorite and most important pieces. So I think this is all for this tattoo tour. I hope I actually went through all my tattoos. I'll quickly do like a little tour. enjoyed this video thank you so much let me know what was your favorite tattoo let me know what tattoo you like the most I would say my favorite tattoo is usually the most recent tattoo I got I don't know it's usually the most recent tattoo I got or one of the most recent ones I got that's usually my favorite one so it's probably this one handle with care kind of recent um, this one my most recent one and this one which is kind of recent as well so those are my favorite ones at the moment. Let me know what your ones are. Also, feel free to copy any of my tattoos. I am never ever offended when people copy my tattoos as long as it's done with good intentions. Most people will ask me beforehand and say, hey, is it okay if I get this tattoo idea? I've seen people get this, I've seen people get sunflowers, I've seen people get the incomplete circle. What else have I seen? Honestly, if you do have any similar tattoos as me or if you have tattoos because of me or if you have tattoos, that look like mine or you have tattoos that are of mine please please send them to my instagram it's universal.hobo i would love to save them all in a folder and check them out and even go through them one day thank you guys so much for watching this video i feel like my next video is probably going to be a file dump kind of video but who knows i love you guys all so much bye